Do not forget to click on the subscribe button and click on the bell icon to stay updated. Hey, what's up guys? It's so here and unless you are living under a rock, you must already be knowing what Google did yesterday. So we can call it a Google day and it was all about Google hardware, machine learning and artificial intelligence. With that being said, let's get right into it. Well, I'm running already late for my task list because I had to spend like two hours yesterday with the Google event live on YouTube, but I guess it was totally worth it. So let's get started. Pretty sure this was the best Google event in years. It has dethroned completely all kinds of smart devices, smartphones, smart speakers, smart cameras, everything. I'm going to give you an overview about it and my thoughts about it as well. So first is Google Home Mini. It's a pretty small, sleek device and it's just $49. That's the best part of it. I mean, previously the Google Home was around $399 and almost everyone could not afford it. So I'm sure if you're looking for a Google Assistant for your room, just go get it. It's just $49 and it's, I guess, somewhere around 5,000 to 6,000 rupees if you import it to India. It doesn't have the audio jack, but it comes with a good well-packed speaker and it just does right for a small room. And now the Google Home has actually got a lot of updates. Earlier it was not compatible with a lot of smart devices. I guess it was just compatible with Nest and smart objects and the Philips Hue. But now as per Google, they are supporting more than 100 brands and 100 kinds of smart devices. That's pretty cool. And also now they have got a lot of nice useful integration with those Nest product line then if you have a nest security camera at your home you can actually ask google to live stream the camera's output directly to your tv through the chromecast and it's pretty real time it's accurate we have seen it yesterday and google home is going to get the new feature which is called broadcast with which you can basically broadcast your voice message to all the connected google home devices so google home is just 49 dollars which is like 5000 to 6000 rupees if you import it to india i don't think it's going to come officially to india so we just have to import it. So then comes the Google Home Max. It's just a bigger version of Google Home and it comes with stereo speakers and more premium looks. This new larger Google Home speaker is clearly intended to be an answer to the critics who suggested the original Home lacked good quality audio and also this is going to compete with Apple HomePod which Apple is going to launch. It has got a cast functionality and you can input 3.5 mm jack input as well. Google Home Max can output sound that's up to 20 times more powerful than the old Google Home and it has two 4.5 inch woofers on board with two 0.7 inch custom built in tuners. It can sit in either vertical or horizontal orientation and it comes in both chalk and charcoal colors. It comes with a mic on and off button. It comes with a 3.5 mm jack. It comes with a USB-C in and the AC input. It's well priced at $399 and it will be like 40,000 INR if we are going to import it to India. Then comes the Pixel Book and the Pixel Book Pen. This was the best thing I saw yesterday and it can just do so much. It's just like Android phone with bigger screen letting you do everything you as you do it on a Windows computer or an Apple computer. It runs all the apps from Google Play Store and it's loaded with a 7th generation Intel Core i5 and i7 processor. And I got a lot of questions in yesterday like what OS it runs. It actually runs on the Chrome OS and it's not running Windows or OS X or anything. It's just running on Google's own Chrome OS and that's amazing. If you remember the Google Chromebook, this is just a newer version of Google Chromebook. It runs Chrome OS and it's a 2K display on a 12.3 inch screen. So Pixel Book will be available in three variants. One will be the $999 for the i5, 8GB and 128GB of SSD, which is like 75,000 INR. And second will be the $1199, which will be 8GB RAM, i5 and 256GB of SSD, which is like, I guess, 90,000. And the third model will be Core i7, 16GB, 512 SSD, which will be like 1.3 lakhs. I guess that's fine pricing for the Pixel Book. Keeping in mind, it does so much. And Pixel Book Pen, which is just like our old school stylus, is just $99, which will be available for like, I guess, 7,000 to 8,000 rupees if you import it. And then comes about the phones, the Google Pixel 2 and the Pixel 2 XL. So Google released their flagship models for 2017 now and they call it Pixel 2 and Pixel 2 XL. Pixel 2 is pretty much standard, but Pixel 2 XL is a beast altogether. It features a huge 6-inch POLED QHD screen, 
Processor is now Snapdragon 835. Storage has been doubled and it's available now in 64 GB and 128 GB. But the RAM stays the same, 4 GB. It comes with Google Lens support, AR stickers, single camera, super amazing portrait mode, hybrid optical and electronic image stabilization, music recognition, stereo front firing speakers and what not. Pixel 2 dethrones iPhone 8 Plus and Samsung Note 8 in camera rankings with a DxO mark of 98, which is kind of crazy. I mean, for a smartphone camera, it's completely crazy. Google Pixel 2 camera is 12.2 megapixel with a fixed aperture of 1.8. The 64 GB is like $849, which is somewhere around 55 or 65,000. And the 128 GB will be $949, which will be somewhere around 75 or 85,000 Indian INR. And the best thing, you get unlimited storage of photos and videos if you own a Google Pixel phone. And then comes Google Clips, Google's first AI driven camera. So Google Clips is a small standalone AI driven camera that can capture up to 3 hours of video and images and then automatically select the best moments for you. It comes with a 130 degree of view which is quite wide and it comes with a shutter button as well. Of course, Google Clips is not a replacement to your GoPro or a GoPro killer because those two do things completely different. The only downside is Google Clips is just 16 GB of fixed storage and it comes with 15 FPS of recording only. At least we would have expected 24 FPS, maybe next time. So Clips is pretty much a self-contained unit. It takes your images, runs its pre-trained machine learning algorithms to find the best ones and then automatically generates your clips and picks your best images for you. So Google Clips just works and it comes with iOS and Android app as well so you can pretty much use the app and scroll through your images browse share edit do everything from the app so Google Clips is $249 which will be like 20,000 INR if we import it to India I guess it's just a bit expensive but that's okay next comes the Google Pixel Buds it's like a killer to the Apple earpods so Google Pixel Buds are a pair of $160 wireless earbuds that brings Google Assistant and real-time translation features right into your ears but you're not going to get more most out of it unless you own a Google Pixel 2. Well, that's it for today. From everything what we saw yesterday, you must have already realized that Google owns you from the moment you wake up till the second you go to bed and maybe beyond. I cannot think of a life without Google and without it, you are going to feel crazy paranoid. So that's it for today. Smash that subscribe button if you haven't done it yet. And don't forget to click on the bell icon to stay updated. I will see you next time once our Google stuff reaches home. Bye-bye.